Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Allie. So before I get started with the video, I want to give a quick shout out to Lorena M who won the giveaway this weekend. So congratulations to you, I will be sending out your gift in the next couple days. So stay tuned for my email that I'm going to send you real soon. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about a perfume that's a bit newer to my collection. I've had some time to play with it and really get to know it and I absolutely love this perfume. This was a blind buy for me, a successful blind buy. And yeah, we're going to get into it right now. What I'm going to be talking about today is Proxima from Centauri Perfumes. And the box is a really beautiful, just simple black box. It says Centauri Perfumes on the front. It's got a little tab that you can pull where the fragrance rests inside. And I think it's a really beautiful, simple beautiful box really the bottle is my favorite thing ever it's one of my favorite bottles like probably to date it's this blue sort of geometric shape with a really beautiful like bronze cap and this amazing really heavy like cap the cap is really really heavy it's really really beautiful it sort of reminds me of like an Aztec calendar with all the detailing that it has and I absolutely love the bottle like you guys this is such a beautiful bottle. I absolutely love it. Just the attention to detail, the fragrance, the juice, just everything about this is a perfect 10 to me. So like I said before, this is called Proxima from Centauri Perfumes. And I sprayed it on the back of my hand right here. This one has notes of grapefruit, blackcurrant, strawberry, aldehydes, rose. It's got an air note in here, which is really, really interesting. White woods, iris, jasmine, and musk. For those of you that are wondering how you can like encompass air into a fragrance, I would suggest thinking back to Twilly de Hermes by Hermes. That one is a beautiful, very bright, airy, citrusy scent. That would be a really good example of an airy scent. And I feel like this one sort of has that quality, but in a different way, and I'm gonna get into it in a minute. But a little bit about the fragrance. This one was released in 2020. The perfumer and owner of Centauri Perfumes is Peter Carter, and he created a line of fragrances that represent the past, the present, and the future. The one in the red bottle from his collection, I think it's called Dentura, it represents the past, and that one is made, I believe, explicitly with natural oils to signify the past in the old world. The white bottle represents the present, and that one's a combination of natural oils and synthetic oils, which represents now. And the blue bottle, which is the newest one that came out this year, represents the future and was inspired by space and is made with modern aroma chemicals or synthetics. So I thought that was really cool. And this is a really beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Like, I cannot stress enough how much I absolutely love this fragrance. It's just so, so good. So when I spray it, and I have it on the back of this hand, I've been um, letting it dry down a little bit, you get an immediate burst of berries. So my fans of berries, you'll definitely love this. You definitely get that black currant in this. I definitely get that strawberry note, which I really do enjoy. Even though they're synthetic notes, they do smell really, really well blended together in this. They create this sort of otherworldly smell. It's very, very interesting. It reminds me of so many different things, so it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what it is that I want to classify it as, because at some points it smells like really sparkling champagne with like berries in it. And other points it really does smell like the inspiration behind the fragrance. And actually, that's another good point to note. The inspiration of this fragrance in particular was a piece of art and music by Tracy Chataway called Night Sky and I feel like Peter Carter does a really good job of, of explaining the inspiration behind this. I will link his video down below if you guys want to check him out. He also actually has a YouTube channel and he's a pretty well-known fragrance reviewer so definitely check him out. His channel is called uh, Fragrance View and I really do enjoy watching his videos. He even teaches how to make um, your own perfumes, really, and he walks you step by step. So I think that's really cool, and he's very well versed in the art of perfumery. He has a tremendous knowledge about a lot of things, like the man is like 
super smart. He's like a genius, especially when it comes to scents. Like, he's just amazing. But anyway, so yeah, it's inspired by an actual piece of music and a um, piece of art. And I will link the piece of music and art down below. And it's basically a boy standing on top of like what looks like a peak of a mountain almost looking down on this alien city while he's wearing a sort of like helmet and just the scene behind everything you see the night sky you see the city lit up underneath and it just encompasses this sort of wonder that this child is you know experiencing looking down on this alien city and it's really really beautiful there's this misty fog in the picture that's sort of lit up by the lights of the city and I kind of get that vibe from this one and I think that's what he was trying to encompass when he wanted to encompass the note of air because the air that I get from this fragrance is almost like a foggy air because there's like a layer of fog in the photo and I sort of pick up on that vibe which is really interesting it's like a foggy air and I know that's weird but I sort of get like and I don't know how to describe it other than like this fog to it that's really really beautiful that mends really really well with these bright uh berry notes it's really really pretty you definitely get like this hint of floral in there as well I do pick up on the iris which gives it a little bit of a powderiness to the fragrance and definitely that jasmine and that musk as well it's a really, really unique fragrance. I've gotten one, I've worn this about eight or nine hours on my skin personally. So this is an all day fragrance. It's very beast mode and it's very, very likable. I was surprised how likable this scent was. And I feel like it's probably gonna be one of the most likable in his collection because of just how bright and beautiful and just tasty the scent is. There's something about this scent too that sort of reminds me of like the Smarties candy. That sort of tartness that they have, that powdery tartness. I sort of get that from this because of the strawberry nut mixing in with the iris. That's really beautiful. And you do get a little bit of the woods sort of aiding into the fragrance, making it feel like you're on this alien planet and you are that child looking down on the city and just looking at it in awe and wonder. And it's really, really beautiful. I feel like this fragrance is definitely gonna be a staple in my collection. I am so happy that I got it. It's very unique. It's very likable. It's very beautiful. I love how I do get this airy quality from it, which is very unique and interesting because I don't think I've ever smelt an airy quality like this in a fragrance where it reminds me of like fog. It's really, really interesting, but it's really, really just nice at the same time. It's got a champagne-y vibe. It's got a Smarties vibe. It's got an airy vibe. It's so many different vibes that I really do enjoy. I do think this is unisex leaning a tad bit more feminine because of all the bright, like, berry notes that are usually more associated in women's scents. But I feel like anyone could wear this honestly. A man could totally wear this. A woman could totally wear this. Anybody could wear this really because of how just light and beautiful it is. And you definitely get a really nice sillage while you're walking. It's really interesting when you catch whiffs of this in the air. It smells very modern. It smells very beautiful i can't describe it other than just stunning and amazing and i think he did like i said a really good job and i really think y'all should go check out that piece of art and music that inspired this fragrance because it really did like touch me like it was so beautiful and i really could pick up on his inspiration for this one so yeah that's all i really have to say about this one you guys uh, it's a 10 out of 10 in my book I highly suggest checking this one out if you're into berry scents, if you're into unique scents, if you're into airy scents, if you're into just beautiful scents, then this one is a really good staple for anybody. And yeah, I can't say enough good things. I'm probably going to pick up uh, Gaia, the one in the white bottle next and sort of work my way up. So yeah, stay tuned for that because I do have a sample of it and I'm probably going to wear it. And I'll get back to you guys on my thoughts with that one. But till next time, I hope you guys found this 
video helpful. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.